I'm, I'm not a good speech giver. Mice. That's who has small ears. Oh, relative to their heads, but not relative to me. Anyways. All right, starting a new problem. What if I am told some kinematics observations about a scenario? I'm told some kinematics observations about a, a scenario. Let's let's make up a scenario, okay? We've got something with, uh, <clears throat> well, an unknown mass, some object with an unknown mass, and I want to say that somebody observed this object to be moving with an acceleration of 4.0 meters per second squared to the right. And I should say that somebody observed that thing to move a displacement of 25.0 meters. And I should also say that it was observed to start, let's, let's start this one from rest, zero meters per second. find the work done <coughs> if the motion was achieved by a 10 Point zero Newton force. Do we have enough information there? Sure. Well, let's see. Can we can we just do the work? What's the formula for work? Straight up, work equals because we may have enough information. We may even have too much. Well, let's, let's just take note of what we have. We have force. We have displacement. Can we just plug in here? Okay. In fact, yeah, you're right. We, sh we should make note that it's going in the same direction. Otherwise, we're going to have negative work here. And so this is, a, this is a pretty easy part. 25 times 10, 250 joules in this case. And if they're collinear, then that's going to be cosine of 0, which is 1. And we're back to the same spot that we were in a previous problem. Um, the next question might be, here's it, if that's A, the next question might be, can we find the mass of the object by energy methods? Can we find it by energy methods? Yeah? How would you do it? You don't have this happen velocity, so you can't. We start from rest. Yeah. Okay, so we can make a note that F equals MA. And I can say, all right, well, I know from before that work is equal to force times displacement and times cosine of theta. And I can make a note about this F equals MA business. So work is equal to mass times acceleration times delta D times cosine of theta, subbing in that F equals MA value. Well, let's get rid of the cosine theta because that's going to eliminate to 1 again. And so I can say, well, work is equal to mad then. And I want to get, what was I trying to get by itself? M? So I can get this M all by itself by dividing both sides by A and displacement, or acceleration and displacement. So I get work 
divided by acceleration times displacement is equal to the mass. So yeah, I have enough information here to figure out what the mass of this object is based on the amount of work that was done and the acceleration that was observed. So I can say the mass of this object is equal to the amount of work we claimed was 250 joules divided by the acceleration we were given 4.0 meters per second squared times displacement of, oh, I don't want to run off the page here, a displacement of 25 meters. I can do a little bit of head math here. 20, 250 divided by 25 is just 10. 10 divided by 4 is uh, 2.5. So I get left with, is that right? Yeah, yeah? okay. 2.5 kilograms and you know I started out with two sig figs here with my acceleration so 2.5 kilograms is, is quite right and it happens to be a precise value because of the, the nice cooked numbers that I used for this one. Alright.